Well, good evening, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 27th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all for joining me. Starting out here looking at the sun, as there are still zero sunspots. Small, faint coronal hole developing on the equatorial region of the sun. But we also have two pretty fiery sunspots that are incoming. You can see the heliosphere being affected here by the incoming sunspots. One just above the equator and one below. Other than that, not too much to talk about for space weather. Solar wind speed is calm. But the sunspot that is below the equator looks like it has fired off a flare or some sort, maybe a CME. Looking at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, largest being here, 5.6 in the Philippines, as well as 5.0, a deep earthquake in Fiji region, Fiji Islands 4.7, 400 kilometer depth, 5.2 earthquake here, East Pacific rise, as well a 5.3 in the middle of the Atlantic, the southern mid-Atlantic rise. Earthquakes straight across the Eurasia Plate. 4.5, 4.8 in Greece, as well, 4.6 here, and as well, 4.0 in Afghanistan, 4.6 in China. Still watching the quiet zone, but we did see some activity here today. 3.5 California, as well, a 3.0 here in Sequim, Washington. Minor rumbles in Alaska. Now, Alaska is a region that I'm giving a watch for over this next little while. Also observing still earthquakes swarm in the Dominican. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes around our planet. And things are starting to increase, especially in with the deep earthquakes. Still watching our quiet zone, North American plate. Kamchatka ran into Russia. Over here to the Pacific Disaster Center, updating the most recent volcanoes, Dekono in Indonesia, as well Reventador in Ecuador, Sange in Ecuador. And that's pretty much it that for the most recent updates of volcanic eruptions. Most of the alerts are floods and storms across many continents, and we're going to get into that right now as we're overlooking the United States. Winter storm conditions continue to head straight up northeastern United States and into Atlantic Canada. Brantford, Ontario had blowing snow conditions last night. Saw some friends posting some intense pictures of the snowfall from overnight in Ontario. As well, pretty strange snowfall here in Kansas. Just look at this on NASA Worldview. So this long white line that goes straight across Kansas into Nebraska, that is snow. That is quite a, quite a bit of snow, actually. And it's interesting that it's just a strong line that goes straight across Kansas. Now, last night and yesterday throughout the day, convergence line, high pressure, low pressure ridge was right over Kansas. And that's why it dumped the snow because the low pressure from the north, very cold air. Now, something I wanted to point out here was the sea ice growth here, North Pole. So this is overlooking Alaska right now, February 26, 2020. This is this time last year. 
February 26, 2019. So stay aware and prepared, guys. A lot is changing on our planet. I wanted to share that with you. Across the United States, still many flood alerts. Across seven states right now as that large low pressure system heads across. Also overlooking Australia as ex-tropical storm Esther is still spinning over top of the Northern Territory of Australia, bringing heavy thunderstorm bands. Tropical cyclone Ferdinand starting to head west. And also southwestern Australia started to see some intense weather as well. So they had some thunderstorms conditions, thunderstorm conditions in Perth, southwestern Australia. A couple friends shared some links with me on Facebook. And don't be afraid to friend me up on Facebook. My name is Mike Milks. I'm not ashamed of who I am. Find me up, friend me up. I share lots of articles and, of course, the videos. Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base, as we still have this temperature roller coaster. Warm during the day, cold at night. Low pressure systems, high altitude, latitude. So low pressure system heading straight across. Atlantic Canada throughout the week. Dry conditions for a few days across the United States. And then watch Monday into Tuesday as another low develops and sweeps across the southeastern United States. Still watching strong and large low pressure systems spinning around in the Atlantic Basin or sorry, the Pacific Basin, around the Aleutian Islands. Not much to talk about for weather across Southeast Asia. Heavy rains and storms throughout Northern India. As well, Iran and Afghanistan, parts of Turkey, still receiving snow and rain. Across Europe, expect a lot of rain over the next five-day forecast throughout the United Kingdom and eastward, as well watching a Mediterranean low sweep into Turkey later in the week. Here's overlooking the United Kingdom in the coming days as yet another large low-pressure system spins over. Center of the low going straight over northern United Kingdom. South America daily evaporation intense at times and yesterday there were a lot of reports of landslides and flash floods in Colombia and Ecuador as well as Peru. You can see here heavy rains throughout Panama in the coming days as well. Australia five-day forecast ex-tropical storm Esther is still going to be spinning around and on the continent. Interesting times we're living in. Don't forget to smash that like button. Share with your friends and family around the world so that we can stay aware and prepared together. Thanks again for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.